say a lot of things. You can't say that I ain't trying to put y'all on. be putting y'all onto the sauce today we got the recipe for this okay i will be putting you guys onto the top 10 the top 10 conditioners that i use to grow my hair from bald not even twa from bald to a fearless fro so these are some that i have been using before i chop my hair some of them i've also just added on to the list so stay tuned if you want to know which ones I would recommend and why. Um, for some of these tips I have actually given to some of my friends who actually have, you know, 4A, 4B, 4C, um, 3C, basically all different types of hair. And these are things that have worked for them as well. My number one conditioner for actually hair breakage. So for all my ladies who ever, you know, you ever went to the hair salon, got a silk press, got your hair straightened out, and when it was time to wash it out, it wasn't washing out. I think y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Whether that's heat damage or your hair has been processed without you knowing, this is something that actually happened to me. Let me know if you guys want a story time on that because a lot of people don't know that shaving off my head completely was not my idea. I was actually forced to do it because my hair was that damaged. But yeah, I didn't know that it was as common as it was until it happened to me. However, this is something that can actually build back the protein bonds in your hair. So if you use this product in your hair and it literally does not bounce back, that means that you have damaged your hair too much to the point where you have to chop it, you have to cut it, you have to trim it, you have to do something. But those strands, those trusses are not going to bounce so back. This is how it looks. This is actually Aphigee's two-step protein treatment. So for my people who have protein sensitive hair, um, I'm actually going to recommend another one for you later on in this video. This is something that I use in my hair about two to three times a year. The key with this is also knowing the type of porosity that you have. So some people might say, oh, Ari, I don't necessarily know what's the porosity of my hair. I don't know if I should use this product. Three strands of your hair and you wanna put them in water. So this water should not be hot, this water should not be cold, it should be lukewarm room temperature. You can see if your strands float up to the top, sink to the bottom, or if they float right in the middle. So in the middle is gonna be normal um, porosity, on the bottom is gonna be high porosity, and on the top is gonna be low. So I actually have low porosity here. Nothing I put in my hair adheres to my hair strands without heat. Very hard for my hair to absorb anything that I put in it unless it has heat so this right here i'm not gonna lie y'all step number one it it stinks okay it stinks it smells like i'm not even lying to y'all it straight smells like it straight smells like ass <laughs> but why don't i care that it smells that bad because it works right i've used a lot of hair products on my hair that don't really work or the results were like minuscule and I'm like, for the way it smells, for the price, it's not worth it, right? This product is worth it. So this is basically hydrolyzed, I believe it's hydrolyzed collagen. Yeah, hydrolyzed collagen. That's basically the top ingredient in here. So basically, it's liquid protein. You're gonna put this liquid part in your hair when your hair is damp, and um, you just rub it in your hair completely. Make sure you, you cover each and every strand from top to bottom. So once you have this in your hair, very important, it's very important. It's very important that you do not brush your hair, you do not manipulate it, you do not play with it, you do not touch it while this product is in it. The reason why is because the protein actually bonds to your hair and it's gonna make a hard cast. So basically you're supposed to blow dry it and it's gonna make a hard cast. This is because the protein is bonding to your hair. You don't wanna do anything or it can break off, literally. So with that being said, for me, because my hair is so dense, it's low porosity, I wanna make sure that it adheres to my hair. So this usually, I'm not gonna lie you guys, takes me about 20 minutes. So once I blow dry it, like 15, 20 minutes, once I blow dry it and it gets that hard cast, then we go back underneath the water and we put this in. So this is actually the balancing moisturizer, right? So the point of this is to actually put back the moisture back in your hair after you add all of that protein. So this is actually gonna make your curls bounce back, honey, and it smells amazing. These two products right here, I use this about two, three times a year, especially after I do a silk press, which I just did. 
So this adds all the protein back in your hair so everything will bounce back. So this is an old wash and go. But as you guys can see, all my curls are healthy. Everything is back up to par and I had my hair bone straight about what two weeks ago this is living proof oh man number two for moisture for all my ladies especially my 4c ladies this is called cresce if i'm not pronouncing it wrong it's called cresce Bayo. Bayo. so it's actually a dominican hair conditioner um this is how it comes this is how it looks usually right next to the silicon mix but nobody pays it any mind because nobody knows about this so with that being said cresce Bayo. this is basically like a thick a thick white cream as you guys can see the it actually promotes hair growth it smells really good and the thing that I love about this is that it has slip for days when I tell you it does not matter how tangled my hair is if it's matted I recommended this to one of my girlfriends who actually has 4c hair and when I tell y'all honey that comb be sliding it really don't matter that comb be sliding and it also restores all moisture into your hair and it promotes growth this also has hydrolyzed soap so it has a little bit of protein but for my pro protein sensitive people the hydrolyzed silk is close to the bottom so it's not that much I would definitely do a, a strand test to try it out but this one shouldn't be this one shouldn't be that overbearing or strong on the hair at all well, it's actually called Ulta Ego so there's actually two that I use their oil one and I also use this one which is the garlic hot oil treatment however the garlic hot oil I use more often this is why this is this made it to my top 10 list this is holy grail I don't know how my mom found out about it, but I've been using it since I was a kid. As you can see, I have the big jar because I don't play. This thing smells so good. Even though it's, it has garlic in it, it smells so good. Um, it smells like, it smells a little earthy, but it smells like, it's, it has like, like, it has like that fresh, you know, like that fresh like shampoo and like conditioner smell. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. This smells good. It doesn't smell like garlic at all. It says that it's full of peptides, vitamins, and mineral salt. I honestly do believe because this is a hair product, just like the other two. Once you put in your, you put it in your hair, you instantly feel the difference. Curls pop back, and the moisture goes right back into your hair. I usually keep this in my hair, just like Cresce Peo. I usually keep these in my hair for about. 20 minutes or so this one right here you can use it before shampooing or after because it's a hot oil treatment so sometimes depending on how how long my hair has been in a protective style i would actually do a pre poo with apple cider vinegar and then i would mix some of this just to put some moisture back in i wash it after i wash it condition it i put this back in so it could deep condition as well so this one is another go-to this one is not as cheap as crusade crusade is like around eight nine dollars seriously i don't know if it's focusing but this is the two minute protein treatment two minute keratin reconstructor Two bottles that I showed you in the beginning of the video is the two step protein treatment and this is going to be the two minute protein treatment, the two minute keratin reconstructor. Really what it sounds like you guys, it is a two minute, two minute protein treatment, yeah. Avogy products usually smell like candy. This one smells really good. It smells really fresh. Usually I put this, um, if I'm, if I am co-washing my hair, I mix this with the co-wash. You can use this right after you shampoo it and you actually want to keep it in your hair. It says for about five minutes, even though it's a two minute pro protein treatment. So this one right here actually adds strength and softness in one step. This is why I love it so much. This one also has slip but it's not as much slip as Cresce or Alta Ego for the simple fact that this one is geared mostly towards protein. We got two protein treatments and we got two moisture treatments. Number five is actually gonna be by Shea Moisture, all right? So I'm not sure if you guys can see the writing on it, but this one is called Manuka Honey and um, Murphura Oil, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's an intense hydration mask. So with this, it actually has manuka honey in it. If you don't know, that's one of the purer forms of honey. Um, if you ever had it before, you ever seen it in the supermarket, it's usually super expensive. It's a thick white cream, right? So this one is actually very thick. Like if I hold it, it's not going to move out the tub or anything like that. So this is one that you actually have to work into your hair. Um, you actually have to work this into your hair. I usually like to use this one as an overnight treatment. Usually put on my 
um, my plastic cap, put on my bonnet, and that's how I do it. Or this one, if I wash my hair, I will wash my hair in the beginning of the shower, and I will keep this one in my hair for about 20 minutes. Wash my skin, shave, whatever I need to do, and then by the time you're ready to rinse off, it's time to wash this out as well. So this one also has um, a lot of slip. It, it also has a lot of oils, a lot of replenishing oils. It has coconut oil in it. It has shea butter in it. Um, it has aloe in it. It has fig extract. It has a lot of moisture, um, moisturizing properties within this product. I'm not sure if you guys ever saw this in the pack, um, in the beauty supply store. It's usually in a pack, a white pack in the front. Like, you know, where like all the little like um, edge controls and stuff like that, the little brushes are in the front. So this actually is another is another white cream this one is a bit more liquid so like if I move it too much it will spill out but um same thing you have to work it into the hair this one is coconut and manoi oil base it's very very moisturizing and it smells like oh my gosh you guys it smells like you're on the tropics like it smells like you're in the tropics like you're just underneath the tree like it smells so good so this one right here you would actually put it in your hair just as the, the others. Um, you put it in after you wash it, shampoo it. But this one, you keep this in. I would keep this in for about 20 to 30 minutes depending on how much time you have. And it locks in moisture. So if you have hair that's low porosity as well like mine, this one makes sure that it locks in moisture. Um, I also have a friend who has high porosity hair and she likes this one as well. Um, of course, the products that she used to style are different than mine because it's high porosity, meaning that her strands soak up all the moisture. Mine's is low porosity, so unless it's heat applied, it wouldn't, right? So this is actually gonna be number six, Manoy and Coconut Oil Base, and this is by Palmer. So this one is usually around $10. Number seven, now let me tell you guys, this is actually a repairing hair mask. I would actually put it, I would, I, I'm not too sure. I feel like it's moisturizing. I feel like it's moisturizing and it's also protein based. So this one right here, this one is by Carol's Daughter. Um, it actually has Manoy oil in it as well. It also has bamboo water. And bamboo water, if you ladies don't know, it's known to strengthen the hair. This is a really good one to put in your hair before you straighten it. Before you straighten it, this so the bamboo strengthens your hair. Also, it has hydrolyzed silk, and the point of the hydrolyzed silk is to rebuild the hair strands. A little science, when you straighten your hair, you're actually breaking the protein bonds within your hair, right? So a lot of times when we wash our hair after we straighten it, it's hard to put back that protein. Back. Something that actually puts the protein back in your hair, right? This is actually a cream mask very thick you have to work this in your hair this is not something that you're just gonna put on top and it's just gonna know like this one is super thick like super thick it smells really good and it says after one use it prevents 98% more breakage I can actually attest to that this is something that honestly helped my hair when it was breaking when it was coming out before I had even chopped it this is something that helped it but it was still just my hair texture was so uneven and ununiform and honestly I couldn't manage that's the reason why I just shaved it off I was very frustrated and I was like you know what it's just hair it's gonna grow back that's another thing we have to within the black community especially because this is something that I dealt with since I was a child we have to stop we have to stop thinking that hair length and beauty are the same thing just because you have long hair it means that you're beautiful and vice versa it's like it's just hair it's gonna grow back it's just going to grow back. It's just on your head. It doesn't define you. It doesn't make you who you are. Because even when I shaved my hair off, I was the same person. And that's something that really boosts my confidence. Because I was one of those people. I was like, I would never do that. Like, I don't think that I could ever do that. Until I was in a position where I was forced to do that. You guys know about Joico. Joico has amazing hair products for all different hair types. I actually usually get my Joico products from Ulta because they're usually on sale. Can't say that I didn't tell y'all. Y'all know Oats will be having the sale. Joico Moisture Recovery. And then we also have K-Pack, all right? And I'm gonna let you know which one is which, why it's good for your hair. What's the purpose of these products? Joico are the only two that come in tubes, as you guys can see. 
So first I'm gonna start off with moisture recovery because it's good for everybody, right? Protein sensitive folks. So this is actually a treatment balm. You wanna put this here, you wanna put this product in your hair when it's clean and it's damp. This is a thick, I don't even think I could show you guys, but this is also a thick um, cream. You'll also have to work it in your hair. This is, so it has a lot of peptides. It's also for coarse and thick hair. Um, it says leave it in your hair for three to five minutes. However, I never leave it in for three to five minutes. I leave it in for 15 to 20 minutes, okay? So this right here restores moisture. It also adds shine. And one thing I love about this is it's thick enough that it's when you wash it out, the product still stays on your hair. Not like residue, but in the terms of it actually, your hair still has that moisture even after you rinse it out. I hope that makes sense. It smells really good. But this one doesn't have like a fruity smell or like a juice smell. This one smells like kind of perfumey. But if you're somebody who's sensitive with scents, this is not a scent that lingers in your hair. It's usually like after you wash it out, it washes out as well. So number nine we're gonna get into is K-Pack, all right? So K-Pack, this is the one that comes in the golden tube. This one is a treatment for dry, damaged hair. However, it is more protein-based. It has hydrolyzed keratin. Um, it has olive oil in it, it has shea butter in it, it has wheat protein, it has aloe juice in it, it has a couple, if you're a person who doesn't like silicones, this has about two silicones in here, um, but they're on the lower side of the spectrum when it comes to the ingredients. This one smells like a lotion. It has it has like a light scent. This is a thick, um, this is thick as well, but it's not as thick as the blue one for the simple fact that this is a treatment balm. This is something that it's like medium. It's like it's like medium consistency. It's not super thick and it's not super thin as well. So these honestly, both of them usually are on sale at Ulta. That's really where you want to get them from, honestly, because they have the most sales on Joko, Joico products. Number 10 is actually going to be the Hydrate and Repair by Shea Moisture. All right, so this one comes in a little um, a little blue tub like this. Um, it actually has Manuka honey in it and it has yogurt, which both have pro protein properties. So it says that the yogurt extract add adds nourishing moisture to your hair, which is also something that honey does. If you um, still provide moisture and boost shine, and then it says that the Mafara oil, this actually softens and promotes healthy looking hair, right? So this one also has shea butter in it. It has yogurt powder. It has coconut oil. It has vitamin B5. It has, what is this called? Boabob sea oil. This has hydrolyzed vegetable protein. It has about three good proteins in here and it says that it's for dry, brittle hair. Even though my hair is not brittle, my hair is not damaged, I usually tend to use products that have, you know, repair, damage, dry, brittle, you know, in the label because these are things that add moisture back to your hair. And it just smells like, it smells like sort of perfumey, but it's a light scent. So this one is super thick as well. If I was to hold it upside down, ain't nothing coming out of here. This one is, y'all know Shea Moisture pricing, usually around $12, $12, $13. So that right there are all 10 of my deep conditioners, right? So the, mo the, the moisture ones, you can use all the time as much as you want. Um, however, the ones that have protein in it, if you're protein sensitive or you're somebody who has very high porosity hair, you have to listen to your hair for what it needs, right? So you're not just going to go put in this in your hair all the time. You're going to listen to your hair for what it needs. Um, if you're straightening it a lot, if you're in the sun a lot, right? If your hair needs that protein back, if you go like this and your hair doesn't bounce back, right? This is something to show that your hair has protein in it. Your hair should bounce back. So there are little things. I could give you guys a whole nother video on that. But I hope that you guys got some value and some insight. If you stayed on to watch this video for this long, I'm actually going to give you guys some bonuses. So there's actually three oils that I like to use to grow my hair, you guys. Three top oils, okay? Actually, I'm lying. It's four. Um, it's actually four. Another oil. Hair oils was actually something that... I didn't necessarily know what made a good hair oil from a bad hair oil. Some key things that I look for now is that the main ingredients, when I say the main ingredients, 
or it shouldn't be in there at all is um, of course petroleum and mineral oil the reason why you don't want these to be in your hair oil is because these are two oils that just coat your hair they don't actually penetrate the hair strands or do anything for your hair right it just coats so with that being said it's sort of like a waste of money also then also soybean oil so soybean oil is usually like a carrier oil so basically it's something that you use to dilute dilute oil it's a carrier oil however most of these hair products they like to finesse us right and they like to put it on the top just like i was saying with mineral oil or petroleum so it just coats your hair or you just don't get the bang for your, your buck because most of the good ingredients are usually like on the bottom but soybean oil is like most of the oil so you know it's like a waste and to look for really good ingredients so when i say really good ingredients than just coconut oil more than just olive oil right but like neem oil um aloe oil um things of that nature um, rice bran oil um, just some random ingredients that i'm listing that help your hair grow so i'm actually gonna start off with number one i'm sorry i gotta give number one to hollywood beauty okay hollywood beauty let me tell you this oil right here baby this oil right here is very pricey y'all i'm not gonna lie however i don't mind the price point why because it works okay it's actually called a growth serum so it comes in this little jar right here um another thing to you guys i also ordered this before when i was on vacation twice and it came pretty fast their shipping is a one here so it says on the label always do a patch test right it says use daily for best results this is an oil that i would use every two to three days because that's how potent it is i didn't feel the need to use it every single day it has a very strong scent this one smells like it's a serum you know what i mean like it doesn't smell fruity it doesn't smell like shampoo like it smells like a serum it smells like very what's that word like menthol you know like minty um and it also has that tingly feeling so it has coconut oil in it hemp seed oil carrot oil tea tree oil nettle oil peppermint mustard seeds sesame oil basil i'm just naming some of the key ingredients garlic seed um black tea neem oil see i told you guys that neem oil fenugreek oh yeah lemongrass this one right here is not to be played with y'all this one right here will really grow your hair i'm actually going to insert pictures of when i had my box braids when i tell you guys the box braids i only had them for literally three weeks and it was busting out the braids this oil is the truth y'all if you have anything going on with your edges because that's something that i can attest to i had even when my hair grew back fully i had my edges pulled out because of a couple bad installs with glue and also sleeping with the head tied too tight sleeping too rough all of that friction on my edges and this right here helped grow back my edges so a lot of people, they might not notice it because my hair is super thick. However, I know how my edges are. I know how full they are, especially when I try to lay them. So this right here, thank you so much, Hollywood Beauty Hair Bar. You guys, y'all the truth for this. That my best friend, she said that she uses the edge control and the edge control actually works to grow your edges too as well. I haven't used their edge control yet, but I'm gonna order that. Y'all wait and see. So number two is actually gonna be the main choice. So this is a fresh bottle. This is why it looks so untouched this is a fresh bottle so this is how it looks this is by the main choice this oil y'all i'm not even gonna lie this oil y'all y'all gonna want to eat it like it smells so delicious like i'm so serious i don't even know like if it smells like juice it smells like candy like oh my gosh this right here i could use this in my hair every day um one of the highest ingredients is soybean oil however it does have a lot of key ingredients and from using this in my hair um consecutively i've seen the difference it's actually strengthened my hair of course it helps to grow it but it also strengthened my hair as well right and it helps you with retention so the key ingredients here that i would say that helped me out is actually rosemary extract rice bran that always grows my hair rosemary extract rice bran it also has um, vitamin E, jojoba, it has aloe in it, it has biotin in it, which is very key. It has grapeseed oil, it also has sage and nettle in it. This is more so my go-to in terms of uh, daily hair oil. Even if my hair is out like this, I would use this in my hair. Typically, I wouldn't use the hair serum from Hollywood Beauty unless my hair is in a protective style. Um, but this right here, you could use all over. 
Number three is actually gonna be from Miel Organics. It actually comes in this jar right here. What really brought me to this um to this hair oil is obviously the packaging um, that it has a green label. So of course that it has a green label. However, what really brought me to this product is the fact that it has rosemary and it says it's a scalp and hair strengthening oil. So like I said with the other product from Miel, you can actually use this in your in in your hair as well, like all over it. She has rosemary leaf oil, it has jojoba oil, it has peppermint oil, tea tree oil, herb oil, safflower seed oil, basil oil. These are like the key ingredients for me. It has some amazing stuff in it. However, this one also has also has soybean oil as a carrier oil in it as well, right? But the good ingredients are so are so overbearing that I didn't really care about that. And like I said, from using it consecutively, I've seen the difference. So the canvas beauty, this one actually has a fro on it and it says canvas. All right, so with that being said, this one is a hair blossom serum is to grow your hair. What really drew me to this product is obviously the packaging, but also the fact that the main ingredient, the first ingredient is castor oil. So this one is actually a thicker oil. This one to me is more ideal for the edges. Of course you can put it in your whole hair, especially your ends, but it's a growth serum. So, you know, you want to put it in your roots as well. What's the key ingredients in this product for me is actually flaxseed oil, um, cayenne pepper, because you know, this is something that it's like menthol, it actually promotes hair growth because it wakes up your hair follicles, right? So it has cayenne in it as well. It has black tea leaf oil. It also has biotin, I'm sorry. That was taking so long to come out. Stay on this till the end, you a real one. Let's continue to grow our hair, let's continue to grow our minds and just continue to flourish. So Tony team, you know what it is. Make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you like. If this is your first time on this channel, thank you so much. You could have been doing anything else right now but you're here watching this video. So I'm not sure if you guys could see but I tried to do a heart with my eyeliner. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a blessed one and enjoy. See you in the next video.